And we've got $5 for you, and $5 for you, and $5 for you, $5 for you, and $5 for everybody. Hey everyone, it's Mark. I'm here to help you put more money in your pocket through credit cards and smart financial habits. If that sounds good to you, then do me a quick favor and click on the like and subscribe button down below. Also down below in the description area, you'll find some links to apply for a new credit card and to get two free stocks from Webull when you open a new account and deposit $100 onto your brokerage account. I'd love to know which two free stocks you get. Now today's video is going to be a lot of fun because it's all about 5% cashback credit cards and I'm not going to be including every five point per dollar or every 5% cashback card on the entire market because that would open this video up to all the store cards and there are dozens if not hundreds of store credit cards that earn at least 5%. So we're going to discount all of those for right now. In this video, we're talking about those that earn 5% cashback in quarterly categories or in choice categories. In other words, they rotate every three months or you get to pick the actual categories yourself for some choice rewards options. Now, per Personally, I'm a huge fan of these types of cards because A, they have no annual fee, B, because 5% return is very, very good, and C, because the rewards categories rotate every so often or you select them yourself. It allows you to earn a high return in a broad set of different rewards categories rather than being locked into a predefined set. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video and go over my personal top five picks for the best 5% rotating slash select rewards category credit cards. And that was a huge mouthful, so hopefully that made some sense. All right, card number one is the Chase Freedom Flex card. The welcome bonus as of March 2021 is $200 of cash back after spending $500 in the first three months of card membership. You'll also receive a 0% APR period for the first 15 months on new purchases, then a variable APR after that. Now the cashback categories on this card are phenomenal. It begins with a 5% quarterly category on up to $15,000 of combined spend each quarter, and you must activate each quarter, otherwise you'll only earn 1%. So be sure to activate. You'll then earn 5% back on travel when you book it through the Ultimate Rewards Portal, which is basically the Chase Travel Portal inside of your online Chase account. Then that's followed by 3% back on dining, 3% at drug stores, and 1% on all other purchases. There is no annual fee on this card. Now, every single year, the quarterly categories may be different. So here are some examples from 2018. January through March, you earn 5% cash bet at gas stations, on internet, cable, and phone services, as well as on Chase Pay, Google Pay, Apple Pay, and Samsung Pay. Then in quarter two, April through June, you got 5% back at grocery stores, not including Walmart and Target purchases as well as at PayPal and using Chase Pay. Quarter three, July through September, was 5% at gas stations, Lyft, and Walgreens. And then the final quarter of the year, October through December, was 5% at department stores, wholesale clubs, and Chase Pay. I really like how Chase combined both permanent categories, meaning travel, restaurants, and pharmacies, along with the rotating quarterly categories. You rarely see a card do that. And so far, I've never seen Chase introduce quarterly categories that overlap with the permanent categories. So it's been great so far to see a, such a broad array of different categories to earn in with a single card. So if you don't already have the Chase Freedom Flex card, then I highly recommend that you put it on your radar. Card number two is the Discover It Cashback Credit Card. The welcome offer as of March 2021 is what's called a cashback match. And here's what Discover says about that. You'll get an unlimited dollar for dollar match of all the cashback you've earned at the end of your first year automatically. So if you earn 250 bucks of cashback on your own in the first year with a Discover It Cashback Card, then you'll actually end up with 500 because of that cashback match. There's also a 0% APR period for the first 14 months on purchases and balance transfers, then a variable APR after that. For cashback, you'll get the same 5% rotating quarterly categories on up to $1,500 of spend per quarter when you activate. If you spend more than $1,500 in those categories in that quarter, then you'll earn 1% going forward until it refreshes the following quarter. Then 1% of course on all other purchases. There's also no annual fee on this card. Now here are some example cashback categories from 2020. January through March was grocery stores, Walgreens, and CVS. April through June was gas stations, Uber, Lyft, and wholesale clubs. July through September was restaurants and PayPal. And October through December was Amazon.com, Walmart.com, and Target.com. Another card that should definitely be on your shortlist if you don't have it already. Next up is the card that puts you in control. 
It's the U.S. Bank Cash Plus Visa Signature Card. The welcome bonus as of March 2021 is $150 of cash back after spending $500 in the first 90 days of card membership. You'll also have a 0% APR period for the first 12 months on balance transfers, then a variable APR after that. The cashback on this card functions a little bit differently. First, you'll have 5% choice categories, meaning you can choose two of your own choice categories from a defined list of options, and you'll be able to earn that 5% on up to $2,000 in combined spend each quarter. And like the other cards that we just saw, enrollment each quarter is required. This is followed by 2% back on an everyday category. Again, you can choose one of these everyday categories from a predefined list. Usually there's three different ones to choose from, and there's no limit or cap on this category each quarter. Finally, you'll get 1% back on all of the purchases. And once again, there's no annual fee on this card. Now here's a screenshot of the available categories from January through March of 2021. In the darker navy blue color, you have your 5% choice categories, and in the lighter blue, you have your 2% everyday categories. The 5% choice categories that US Bank offers are usually pretty unique. Some of the ones that really stand out to me are home utilities, select clothing stores, electronic stores, cell phone providers, gyms and fitness centers, sporting goods stores, and furniture stores. Most cards from other banks don't have these types of rewards categories to choose from or even as permanent categories. So if you decide to get this card, it's great to know that you've got some really cool choices to pick from. And then the 2% everyday categories are currently gas stations, restaurants, or grocery stores. Again, you'll choose one of those for the quarter. The next card is the ABOC Platinum Rewards MasterCard. And if you haven't heard of ABOC before, that is the Amalgamated Bank of Chicago. I had to look that up myself too. The welcome bonus on this card as of March 2021 is a $150 statement credit after you spend $1,200 in the first 90 days of card membership. There's also a 0% APR period for the first 12 months on new purchases, then a variable APR after that. This card will give you 5 points per dollar on quarterly categories that change each quarter on up to $1,500 in combined spend, and 1 point per dollar on all other purchases. Now even though this card earns points, each point is worth 1 cent each, meaning 5 points per dollar equals 5% cash back, and 1 point per dollar equals 1% cash back. This card also has no annual fee, so there's nothing cutting into your rewards. Now here are some example categories from this card. The first quarter, January through March, was health and wellness, and that includes purchases at grocery stores, fitness clubs, hospitals, and pharmacies. Then in quarter two, we have spring spruce up, and that includes purchases at home improvement stores, gardening stores, and selected online retailers. Quarter three is all about travel, giving you five points per dollar or 5% cash back on qualifying airline, cruise, car rental, hotel, travel agency, gas stations, toll roads, and rideshare purchases. This card is amazing. And lastly, in quarter four, we have the enjoy the holidays category, which covers qualifying dining and grocery store purchases, food delivery services, liquor stores, and amazon.com. Are you all ready for the final card of this video, card number five? Let's get to it. We've got the Nusenda Credit Union Platinum Cash Rewards card. The welcome bonus on this card as of March 2021 is 2% 2 cash back on all purchases for the first 90 days, plus a 5% APR for the first six billing cycles on balance transfers only. In similar fashion to the other cards we've seen, there are 5% quarterly categories that change every three months on up to $1,500 in combined spend, plus 1% back on all other purchases. There's also no annual fee on this card. And here are the example categories taken from 2021. The first quarter of the year was groceries and gas expenses. Quarter two will be movies, restaurants, and home improvements. Quarter three covers gas expenses and education expenses. And quarter four will cover restaurants, hotels, and airfare. All right, now that we've covered all those cards individually, I also made a table for you with all five cards side by side, so I'll put it up here on the screen for you to see. Across the top, we have each individual card that we covered in this video, plus their annual fees down below, which is a beautiful $0 for every single one. That's followed by the sign-up bonus as of March 2021. Uh, the ones that give you cash up front are the Chase Freedom Flats, the US Bank Cash Plus card, and the ABOC Platinum card. Those will give you anywhere from $150 to $200 up front in cash back after meeting the spend requirement. Then the Discover card will match all your cash back after the first year, and the new Sender card will give you a base 2% rate on all of your purchases in addition to the 5% quarterly categories for the first 90 days. Then for the ongoing rewards, only the Chase Freedom Flex and the US Bank Cash Plus card have additional intermediate categories, 
beyond just the 5% and the 1%. And then at the very bottom, I put a special key benefit that each card has that I found to be pretty cool. The Chase Freedom Flex gives you cell phone insurance. The Discover It Cashback credit card allows you to choose your own card design. So if you want one that fits your personality, that's a fun one to pick. The US Bank Cash Plus card is the only one that allows you to choose your own categories rather than being surprised by a calendar each quarter. The ABOC Platinum card has no foreign transaction fees and the Nusenda card has price protection. So now you've got my top picks for the best 5% rotating quarterly or choice category credit cards. I've got no doubt that there are other cards like these out there, perhaps from smaller regional banks or other credit unions, or even the one way down there at the very end that is no longer available. That's right, I put a little secret gem at the very beginning of this video. I'm not sure if any of you noticed it, but this is the City Dividend credit card that is no longer available to new applicants. It was available to downgrade to for a little while. For example, if you had a different card like the City Premier or the City Double Cash and you wanted to convert it to this card, you can simply call up City and ask them to switch it over. So this was City's take at a rotating 5% quarterly category card. Uh, it's still decent and it functions just like all of these up here. Uh, it's most similar to the Discover It card. It gives you 5% back on those quarterly categories plus 1% on everything else. But the one cool thing about it is that it did not cap you on the rewards per quarter. Most of these cards have that $1,500 spend cap, meaning you can only earn up to $75 of cash back on that spend. And then it goes down to 1% for the remainder of the quarter until it switches over to the next quarter. But the City Dividend card over there capped you at $300 per year. So if there's one quarter that was really advantageous to you, maybe it was grocery stores, for example, you could earn up to $300 of cash back in that single quarter, and then you're done with the card for the whole year. So it was a bummer that City got rid of the card from new applications, and I believe it's no longer available to downgrade to either. If you want to give it a try, just call City and see if it's still available. But for the most part, that's why I did not cover in this video, because you can't get it right now. With all that said, if you enjoyed today's video and believe it could benefit others, then please help me get it in front of more people by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and turning on notifications. Also check out the links down below in the description area to apply for a new credit card and and to get two free stocks from Weeble when you open a new account and deposit $100 onto your brokerage account. I'd love to know which two free stocks you get. Lastly, of the five cards that we covered today, I'd love to know which one is your personal favorite. Let me know down below in the comments area. Thank you all for tuning in to today's video. I hope it brought you some great value. I'll see you again in future videos. And until then, remember, you are great. Now go get some 5%.